Good morning. Today we're here to show you how to use the alignment machine. Uh, we're going to show you the different things that it comes with. So the alignment machine is ProTech uh, Elite 300. Comes with a camera so you can drive on when you're driving on. Uh, you can see if you don't have anyone to guide you, you can use the camera to drive on straight. It comes with two monitors. This one, so you can set up when you're doing front alignment adjustments. And the bottom monitor is for you to, when you're doing the uh, back adjustment, you can't really see the top monitor. So that's there to make it easier for you to see the adjustments as you're going. Comes with four targets. Um, a steering wheel lock, a brake lock, two cameras, the column, and the remote for the column to manually adjust it if you have to. There's also a printer in the cabinet, and it comes with speakers as well. So it guides you through step-by-step -step instructions of what to do. These uh, tire clamps, wheel grabbers, they're extra optional if you want to upgrade from the rim clamps to tire grabbers you can always have that option too once we've opened the program we click here on the logo and the password is eight six times one two three four five six, eight six times then you can add the company information Telephone unit number address remarks you can select languages here from all these languages You can change the camera settings. We don't recommend you changing them Because this is only for us to start once we if you're having any issues for us to uh, service uh, Repair the cameras this is for the target so if you don't see all the four targets on the screen you can click off the auto control you can scroll up or down and then once you see all four targets on the screen then you can click the auto control back and click save and exit so once you've entered all your information, you can click register and with, if you ever need to modify or change any information, you just click on modify and then re-register. Exit the program. Here you'll find the history of all the vehicles you've done, all the services you've done. You look up the history by plate number, repair date or by uh, repair number. For example, if you want to see this, click on that, and then it'll tell you all the readings. So this is the initial reading, the minimum, the standard, and the maximum you're allowed the specifications. And then whatever you adjust it to will all be here. <coughs> so this tells you all the specs that you can print and give to the customer. We'll exit this. This, in this section, whatever new vehicles you get and you don't have any repair or any specs, you can manually add more vehicles and uh, the specs manually here. Click here to see the, the camera in case you don't have anyone to guide you on, you're alone. You can be guided, you can see yourself so you're center to the hoist. Just double click on this yellow where it says camera here. That's it.
tire grabber comes with uh, two sizes, so you can change them. Just pull this pin out, pull it out, and you can replace it. You can install the new one. Depending on the vehicle you're working on, you can adjust the size. And the big one, you can adjust it to two sizes. You're gonna grab the tire grabber, install it like so. Make sure all three points are touching the tire. You're gonna center the bubble and then lock the steering, lock the forks. The same with all four wheels. So we're working on a ES300 Lexus 2013. We're gonna go ahead and select the vehicle. 350, 2013. So here you can put a customer name. And if you want more information, you can just double click and put all the odometer, the checkup mileage when you want the customer to return, and how much uh, how much annual mileage does the customer drive. Put the technician's name that's working on it, the VIN number, and the work order number is right here. And then you can add any notes to it. We're not doing anything. We're not filling this out right now because we're not saving this for a customer. So. You can add a customer phone number here. And you can add a plate number as well. Then we go run out compensation. So as I was saying before, as you can see here, the targets Four targets are on the screen. You can. Please push the vehicle so we're push the vehicle back until that red dot is in the green line. And the computer will tell you to stop. And you hold it there. Push the now we're gonna push the vehicle forward. Hold it there, and that's it. So we've done the rolling compensation, and as you can see the different readings on the screen. Camera is out and toe is just a little bit out. Rear toe as well. Rear camera is okay. So now we're gonna do a caster swing. And as you can see, it's follow the screen. It tells you what, what to do. We're gonna remove these pins from the turntable. Brake lock. We're gonna do the caster swing, telling us to turn 10 degrees to the left. And then hold it at 10 until it tells you to move. Turn to the right 10 degrees. And hold it. And then we're going to center the steering wheel. And then lock it. So here, after the caster swings, as you can, caster swing, as you can see, the toe on the right side is out, and the camber on the left side. Also, right rear toe is out as well. Camber on both sides are good. On the rear, and uh, caster doesn't show because it's not adjustable on this vehicle. So we'll go to the next step. Camber measurement and adjustment. 
So when you're raising the vehicle, you gotta click this icon and raise the hoist. So we're gonna go ahead and raise the vehicle. So as you can see on the screen, the wheel when the cat when the toe is off, it'll show up in red. And as you can see, this red dot gotta be within this green here on both. So the front right is to towing out, and the rear is towing in. So we want both of these balls on the green. Then the wheels will be green. So we gotta adjust them. So we're going to adjust the rear toe, I've already loosened these as you can see, and go ahead and adjust. So we're gonna adjust the front toe. And then we'll lock it. So as you can see on the screen, everything is in the green, everything is good to go. We're gonna go to the next step and print the report. So this is your final result. Everything is in the green. Everything is good. That's it. So this is your final report. And you can see the company name, business address, phone number, vehicle information customer information and vehicle information as you added and uh, vehicle alignment report. So initially we started with all these angles here. This is the minimum and this is all fi our, our final reading. So the cam caster is not adjustable and camber we didn't touch because the, this specific customer didn't want to touch the camera so we, he just wanted us to adjust the toe for now so that's all we did and this is the rest of it so you can go ahead and click print and you'll get a report so after you've done your final adjustments and you're happy with the reading and you're ready to lower the vehicle just gotta click on this icon and lower the vehicle. First we're going to go up, raise it off the locks, release the locks, and we'll lower the vehicle. So once you've lowered the vehicle fully, and you just click OK, and that's it. You're done with this. So when you're done, release the locks and get the target off targets off the vehicle. Remove the wheel chocks. So we're gonna keep the steering wheel off, the brake off. So in the end, we would like to thank Zozo Autos for letting us use their uh, equipment for the day, uh, their shop. And uh, if you need any service, any repair, alignment, just give them a call. Thank you, Zozo Autos, for all your equi automotive equipment needs. For example, tire machine, alignment, uh, scanners, any specialty tools. We have anything you need. Just give us a call at uh, ProTech Equipment. You can find us online, ProTech Equipment Canada. And we'll be more than happy to help you. We, we do our own service as well, reliable, 
and you can count on it. Thank you very much and have a nice day.